jump into 1-3. Going to talk about uh, midpoints today and, and how to locate points on lines. I, I think today is something that you can get pretty quick and that we can roll. You got some definitions in there, but there's two formulas that you're going to need today. If we get a number line, so a horizontal line, then the way that we're going to find the distance between those points is we're going to take the two X values on the number line, add them up, divide by two. You see that I put right here, all that is is finding the average of those points. Yeah, it's exactly all that it is. Then we're going to look at when we get a line that's got positive or negative slope, how we find the midpoint. And to be honest, um, and by the way, midpoint is literally the middle point between, you know, between your two endpoints or of your line segment. As you look at the formula for a midpoint of a line with positive and negative slope, look, x1 plus x2 divided by 2. All that is is averaging up the x's, right? And then y1 plus y2 divided by 2, it's averaging up the y's. So uh, kind of a similar setup to distance formula that we did in 1-2. Well, it's a different formula. So let's go take a look at it. Let's jump down here to example 1. want to draw your attention to this. we got two capital letters with just a kind of bar over it. That just means segment. Segment PQ, when you saw two capital letters with nothing over it, we saw that in 1, 2. That one at the segment length. So that's how they do that. So there's just some things. Remember, we got to be good at how we notate our geometry, terminology, and how we write things. Got to pay attention to it. All right, here we go. Find a coordinate of the midpoint of segment PQ. There's P, there's Q. We got to go halfway in between them. Common sense way is, well, if there's four in between, I would go two in and be at my midpoint. But I'm going to show you the formula because it's easy. easy. Remember, we said add up the x's, divide by two, or find the average of the x's. Here we go. Point P is at negative three. We're going to add that two because that's what the formula says. Point Q, which is one, we're going to divide that by two. PEMDAS says, hey, do that math in the numerator. Negative three plus one is negative two. If you're not good at adding negatives, do it in the calculator. That's fine. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. There's our midpoint. That's what we thought it was, and it is. All right? Uh, far as showing your work goes, I at least need to see how you set the problem up when you do that. All right? Jumping down here, I'm going to go down. Number 12 already worked out, and it's pretty good. So, basically, I wanted to do a drawing of what's the difference in finding the midpoint on a number line and then when we have an XY coordinate graph. All right? So, this is just an example. This is not number 12. But what we're doing is we're saying, hey, we got... This one would be a negative slope on this line. I got endpoints on it, or I've got a segment there, and I'm trying to find where the middle of that is. And we're going to do the math to do that. All right? So here we go. Jump down to number 12. Instructions say find the coordinates of the midpoint of a segment with the given endpoints. All right? Here we go. We got point E at negative 2, 6. We got point F at negative 9, 3. By the way, they could just show you the graph and not give you the ordered pair, and you go get the ordered pair from a graph. So that, that's not, that's a little bit of a differ, uh, you know, differentiation, but that's not something that, that should be tough on you. So just like we did with distance formula, I'm going to set up my parentheses. I like to do this first one as x1 and y1, which means this second one is x2 and y2. So here we go. To find the midpoint, our formula is add up the x's, divide by 2. That'll be the x coordinate of your midpoint on that line. Then I'm going to add up the y's, divide by 2. There's the y coordinate. Obviously, you can see we'll write it as an ordered pair down here. All right, here we go. Plug in. x1 is negative 2. Formula says plus. x2 is negative 9. Plug it in. We'll divide it by 2. We'll do the math in a second. Let's set up our y's. y1 is 6. Formula says add to that y2, which is 3. Here we go. 6 plus 3. We're dividing it by 2. Now do the math. MDOS says, uh, and we treat a numerator kind of like parentheses. All right, so we're going to do that first. Negative 2 plus negative 9 is negative 11 over 2. That's reduced. We're good. Obviously, if you get an even number in the numerator on these, you're going to need to go ahead and reduce that. Divide it out. X coordinate of our midpoint is negative 11 halves, or negative 5 and a half. If you do that, that would be acceptable. All right, here we go. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 over 2, that's reduced. We're good. You can call it 4 and a half if you wanted to do that. So here's our final answer. There's the midpoint. We do need to understand, if we ever had to graph this, understand where this is. As an x coordinate, negative 5 and a half is halfway between negative 5 and negative 6. So if you're graphing it, I would expect to see it halfway between negative 5 and negative 6. 
Am I going to get out a comb and make sure it's exact, finely, you know, halfway in between? No, but it better not be sitting on negative five or negative six. It better be between them. Same thing with your Y coordinate. Nine halves is four and a half. So it would need to be between four and five. So we would go left between, you know, some negative, between negative five and negative six. Then we would go up and we would go between four and five and we'd draw that point and that would be the midpoint, all right? On your assignment today, you got one, three skills opened up. You should be able to do everything through the segment that asks you to find the coordinates of the midpoint, all right? Uh, and talking about giving you two coordinate endpoints. After that, you don't know how to do it yet. I will teach you that in part two of these notes, which will be next up. Thanks.